Hey, welcome to the Then Answer Studio. Today I want to show you how to put together this balloon baby, which makes a beautiful addition for a baby shower or baby announcement. So follow along and I'll show you exactly how to make it. To start off, we need to inflate 10 of these 11 inch balloons to six inches in diameter or 10 pumps of air with a hand pump. Once I've got all those balloons inflated and tied off, I'm then going to tie them together in sets of five. Now to create a set of five, we need to take two balloons and first make a pair. So I'm going to wrap the nozzle of one balloon around a second one and tie them together with a simple knot. Once you've got the pair made, we need to add a single balloon to this to create a trio. So take the nozzle of a single balloon, wrap it around the nozzles of the pair, and then tie the nozzle of the single to one of the nozzles in the pair. This will secure the three balloons together, and then we just need to create one more pair just like we did earlier and bring the pair and the trio together so that the nozzles all touch in the center. And then I'm going to take one balloon from the pair and one balloon from the trio and twist them around each other. This will secure all five balloons together into a set. I'm going to repeat this step so I end up with two sets of six inch balloons, and then I'm going to inflate five balloons to seven inches in diameter or 14 pumps of air and make a set out of those as well. Finally, I'm going to make my last set out of 5 inch balloons and I'll inflate these to 4.5 inches in diameter or with 4 pumps of air with the hand pump. Before we assemble the sets into the baby swaddle, we first need to add weight to this design. And to do that, I'm going to double stuff a 5 inch balloon and fill it with water so it's about the size of a tennis ball and tie that off. The first layer of the baby swaddle is our six inch set of balloons. And to that set of balloons, we're gonna tie in that water weight. So take the nozzle of your water balloon and one of the nozzles out of that set and simply tie them together in a double knot. By adding weight to this first layer, it'll give our design stability without needing to add a stand. Once the water balloon is attached, flip the entire piece over so the water balloon is on the underside of our set. And now we can add our next layer, which is our seven inch set. To secure these two layers together, I'm going to take a nozzle from my 7 inch set and a nozzle from my 6 inch set and tie the two of them together with a double knot. I want to make sure that these are nice and snug so that they don't have room to shimmy around too much. Then I'm going to arrange the balloons so that one balloon of the upper set is sitting between two of the balloons below it. This will keep everything nice and snug and you won't be able to see through the center of the design. Then it's simply a matter of repeating these steps with my second six inch set, as well as my four and a half inch set on top. Now once I've got all of these sets tied together, we can move on to assembling the head. I'm using an 11 inch balloon in blush, and I'll inflate this to eight inches in diameter or 24 pumps with my hand pump. Once I've got that tied off, we can make the baby's headband. And for this, I'm using a chrome silver 260 balloon, but you can use any color that coordinates with your party. And I'm gonna inflate that to eight pumps of air and then slowly let a little bit of air out of the balloon so it's nice and soft. Once I've got the balloon tied off, I'm then gonna squeeze the entire length of the balloon to soften up the latex. Now take the nozzle end of the balloon and fold it over over so that the folded portion is about three finger widths in length. Where the nozzle is touching the body of the balloon, pinch the nozzle and the balloon together and then twist that loop around a couple times. And then once you've got it twisted, take the nozzle and tuck it right to the inside of that loop and that will keep it from unraveling. Then bend the tail of the balloon back towards that center twist so we make another three finger loop. And then right where that center twist is, pinch it against the body of the balloon and twist that loop a couple times and then arrange the two loops so they're facing the same direction. Now we need to create the knot of our bow. So I'm gonna create a bubble right behind our two loops that's about two finger widths in length. So pinch the balloon and twist it three or four times and then we're gonna take the tail and wrap it all the way over the top of our loops and back around to where it started. And in this process, we're going to take that bubble we just created and push it towards the front of the bow and the tail of the balloon is gonna be on the back side of that bow. So it should look something like this. To make our 260 balloon look like a headband, we're gonna wrap it around our eight inch balloon at an angle instead of across the center line. To do this, place the bow on the top third of the balloon and hold it with one hand while you wrap the tail of the 260 balloon down towards the nozzle of the 8 inch balloon and then back up to where the bow is. Now at this point you can play with the placement until you're happy with how it looks. Once you've got it where you want it, snug the 260 nice and tight around the 8 inch balloon and then right where the tail of that balloon overlaps the back side of the bow, pinch the balloon 
twist it a couple of times and then we're going to wrap the tail of that balloon underneath the bow so that that twist we just put in it is sitting centered right under the bow. I'm going to wrap the tail around the bow like this twice so it's nice and secure and then we can remove the remaining balloon off of the bow. So take a pair of scissors, nip the very end of the balloon so it deflates slowly and trim away the excess 260 right behind the bow so you can't see any tail remaining. Now we can secure the blush balloon to the rest of the design. So center this balloon right in the middle of that top set and then stretch the nozzle and wrap it around a couple of those four and a half inch balloons in a figure eight pattern and that will lock it all together. Now we need to just add the binky to our baby. So I'm gonna use a five inch balloon and one more chrome 260 balloon. So starting with the 260, I'm gonna take the very tip of that balloon and stretch it out nice and wide. By softening up the very tip of this latex, when we insert air into it, this will be the only section that inflates instead of having the balloon inflate down near the nozzle. I'm gonna put one pump of air in this 260 balloon and it should look something like this, where there's a little bubble on the end of the balloon, but none of the rest of the balloon is inflated. Now this is a bit too much air, so I'm gonna slow the air out until there's only about an inch and a half to two inches of bubble at the very tip of this balloon. Once you've got it to the size you want, put a knot right next to that bubble and then take a pair of scissors and trim away the excess balloon, leaving an inch to two inches of tail attached to the bubble. Now don't throw away this extra bit of 260 balloon, we're going to need it in just a moment. To create the binky, we're going to use the apple technique. So inflate your 5 inch balloon to 6 pumps of air, or basically we're going to max out that balloon so it's a pear shape. Then we're going to slowly let air out of that until it's about 3 inches in diameter, and this will soften up the latex and make it much easier to do the apple technique. Tie the balloon off at the very end of the nozzle, leaving that as long as possible. Now to that nozzle, we're going to tie our bubble we just created. So make sure the bubble is as close as possible to the end of that nozzle, and then trim away any remaining 260 balloon as we don't need it anymore. Now we're going to create an apple. So have your scrap of 260 balloon handy, and then you're going to squeeze your 5 inch balloon so it elongates. Once it's nice and long, you're going to take your index finger and put it right on the knot of the nozzle and press it in towards the center of the 5 inch balloon, cupping the outside of that balloon with your thumb and your fingers to keep your index finger right in the middle of that balloon. Now you're going to press your index finger all the way through until you can see the imprint of the knot on the opposite side of the balloon. With your other hand, you're going to grab that knot, pinching it nice and securely, and pulling your index finger out of the balloon. While you've got a hold of that knot through the balloon, you're going to twist the 5 inch balloon a couple times, and these twists are going to give us a space where we can tie the balloon. So take your empty 260, hold the end with your pinky and your ring finger, and then stretch it taut and wrap it around where those twists are. So this 260 is between the balloon and the knot that you've got pinched between your fingers. Once you've wrapped it around a couple times, just tie it in a simple knot, and that will hold everything in place. And this is an apple, or for us, we've now created our binky. The white balloon should be pretty symmetrical, but if one side is a little thicker than the other, you can always press on the balloon to even out the tension, and it should end up pretty spherical. Then take a pair of scissors and trim away the excess 260 on the back side of the binky. Now we can add the binky to our baby, and we can place this on either the lower third of the blush balloon or more towards the center. The most important thing is we just leave enough room to put the eyes on in just a moment. Now I'm going to use glue dashes to secure the binky to the blush balloon. So I'm going to stick two of them to the back side of the binky on opposite sides from each other, remove the paper backing, and then center it on the blush balloon right underneath the bow. If you're not able to get them perfectly aligned, don't worry, you can always rotate the headband a little bit to match the binky. The final step is to draw the sleepy eyes on our baby, and I'll be using this black Posca paint pen to do that. I find it helpful to look straight at the face of the baby and do two gentle U-shapes to create the eye, and then add some eyelashes on top of that. If this is your first time drawing eyes on a balloon, I highly recommend practicing on another balloon before you try and do this on your finished product. If you're not confident drawing the eyes by hand, you can always purchase vinyl eyelash stickers or use the faux eyelashes in the makeup department. And with that, our baby is ready for a shower. If you enjoyed this project, you should check out this video next, and I'll see you in a future project. Bye!